Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. In our past lessons, you have learned about protein synthesis, which is a process on how amino acids are assembled to form biomolecules called proteins. What are proteins and their functions? Let's find out in today's lesson. Lesson 6, Biomolecules, Proteins, Part 3 Proteins are the primary building materials of the body. Your hair, skin, muscles, and organs are composed mostly of proteins. Proteins are strong yet flexible and they have a complex 3D structure. Proteins are made up of hundreds or thousands of smaller units called amino acids, which are attached to one another in long chains. Chains of amino acids are called peptides. There are 20 different types of amino acids that can be combined to make a protein. Remember from our past lessons that amino acids are coded by combinations of three DNA building blocks determined by the sequence of genes. Functions of Proteins The common functions of proteins are The structural component Act as chemical messenger Disease defense Enzymes And transport storage For the structural component, proteins provide structure and support for cells. On a larger scale, they also allow the body to move. Here are some examples. Collagen is the most abundant protein in mammals and that gives the skin strength and elasticity. Next is keratin, which is the main protein material making up scales, hair, nails, feathers, horns, hooves, calluses, and the outer layer of skin among vertebrates. Actin is a protein that is an important contributor to the contractile property of muscle and other cells. Similar to actin, we have myosin, which is also responsible for muscle contraction. It is a motor molecule that works to move the cell. Next function is as a chemical messenger. A chemical messenger is any compound that serves to transmit a message. Messenger proteins, such as some types of hormones, transmit signals to coordinate biological processes between different cells, tissues, and organs, such as testosterone, estrogen, and growth hormones. This messenger proteins is very important during feedback mechanisms to maintain homeostasis in the body. Next is neuropeptide that acts as hormones or neurotransmitters. They send quickly the signals to the different parts of the body. And lastly, pheromone, a chemical factor that triggers a social response in members of the same species. Another function of proteins is as disease defense. Antibodies that bind to specific foreign particles, such as viruses and bacteria, this helps our body to be protected and strengthening our immune system. Enzymes are typically proteins. These are biological molecules that significantly speed up the rate of virtually all the chemical reactions that take place within cells. Examples are amylase, which is present in the saliva of humans and some other mammals. It catalyzes starch into simple sugars, meaning it speeds up the breakdown of starch into simple form. Lipases perform essential roles in digestion, transport, and processing of dietary lipids. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of fats. Some proteins act as transport storage. These are proteins that bind and carry atoms and small molecules within cells and throughout the body. Like phospholipids, these proteins help in facilitating the movement in and out of materials in a cell. Every cell in the human body contains protein. 
you need protein in your diet to help your body repair cells and make new ones. Always remember that protein is also important for growth and development in children, teens, and pregnant women. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamarian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.